but dangerous Mount Baldy hiking trail has been closed down after one hiker fell to his death and several others suffered serious injuries. Tonight, KCAL 9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler spoke with one hiker whose brother-in-law is now in the hospital with a brain injury. There's like a blood trail going down the side of the mountain. It's a scene Rob Wayman can't help but play over and over in his head. He and his brother-in-law, Jason Lopez, both novice hikers, were hiking up the Ice House Saddle Trail with spike shoes in the Mount Baldy area late January when Lopez slipped and fell. And I keep telling him, put your spikes down, put your spikes down. But it was too late. Lopez fell 1,000 feet. At the bottom of the trail, he was bleeding and unconscious. When Jason slipped, I started yelling for him, trying to listen. Wayman and other hikers found Lopez and covered him in coats and blankets as they waited for a helicopter rescue. And I'm just like, thank goodness he's alive. Lopez is now recovering with a number of injuries, including a fractured skull and a brain injury. Since his fall, two men died on Mount Baldy, including 23-year-old Daniel Wynn, who fell 1,500 feet, saving a friend's life who slipped. Dozens of hikers had to be rescued. Just Saturday, this hiker was one of 12 that day, hoisted into an L.A. County Sheriff's helicopter when it became too icy to hike down. Authorities believe weather conditions and ice may have played a part. Now the U.S. Forest Service has closed down the Ice House Saddle Trail and the Devil's Backbone Trail until further notice. For the resources they have um, to rescue people out there, I think it's a good decision right now. Lopez's family says he will now have to undergo extensive long-term therapy. To pay for it, they have set up this GoFundMe site. For more information, you can just go to our website, kcal9.com. That's the latest from Huntington Beach. I'm Stacy Butler. Back to you.